guys, Mower Medic 1. Today we have a Cub Cadet riding lawnmower on the bench and the complaint is that it lost power and uh, when it goes to engage the blades, the blades don't want to, or the engine RPMs don't uh, come up, or I don't want to say come up, but when he engages the blades, the engine RPM actually drops and doesn't have any power. But when I picked this machine up and he cranked it up, I was listening. I could just I could just tell that it was running on one cylinder. So we're going to figure out why this gorgeous Cub Cadet. Let's see here. It's got the 21 horsepower Kohler Command. I'm going to zoom in here on the model number for you. When I get one of these Kohler engines, the first thing that I do is I'm going to do a spark test. Go ahead and grab my spark tester. I like using the uh, the Echo, the PET 4000, because it's adjustable. You can adjust the uh, the intensity of the spark. You can screw this out, and it's graduated, as you can tell. And uh, there's uh, right there where my that should be about one kilovolt. And that's about a 60 thousandths gap, which is about the voltage range on HEI, most HEI ignitions. Basically, what you want to do is remove the spark plug wire. We're going to hook up the tester in line and hook the lead from the tester back to the spark plug and mine is just about worn out I definitely need a new lead I didn't have to shut, shut the shop door here just for a second because it's it's too much light in here you can't see the uh, the spark tester so what we're going to do, we're actually going to look for a spark. Right here in this window. And I'm going to spin the motor over. As you can tell. good spark. Let's move, move over here to, uh, I believe this is cylinder number one. Whichever cylinder is closest to the flywheel is cylinder number one. And the way you can tell is you can actually look at the top of the valve cover here, the top of the valve cover here. This one's moved over a little bit closer to the flywheel. So most of the time, the, like I said, the closest cylinder is cylinder one. So whenever you're ordering parts and it asks you for cylinder one or cylinder two, that's how you know. Okie dokie, so we got the spark tester hooked up to cylinder number one and we're going to spin it over and see if we have spark. And we do not. Could this be a bad plug? Maybe. So let's just move it to a good solid ground. Try it again. At this point, cylinder number one ignition module as bad. But however, before we start replacing parts, now this is going to be a pretty much a pain in the rear end because this engine's facing rearward, or the PTO shaft is out this way, and we've got a drive shaft that runs the transmission. If I remember right, I can take this plate off and I should be able to remove the blower shroud back enough without having to uh, disconnect the drive shaft or remove the engine 
to gain access to the coils. But what I want to say is <clears throat> there is a small wiring harness between the coils with two diodes. What that does is it keeps the 12 volts from back feeding into the, the coils and in case of say like an ignition switch failure or something funky goes wrong with the wiring harness if those if one of the diodes fails it could fail in the grounded position and cause one of the coils whichever diode is bad to kill the coil so what we're going to do we're going to remove the blower shroud and take the kill wire off of the coil and then we'll retest it if we have fire after you pull the wire for the ground off of the coil then we know the coil's good we have an issue with the coil harness with the diodes or we have a problem on the tractor side first thing you want to do is just remove the chopper screen here it's just eight millimeters my big old head in the way hope not there's four screws Okay, I've got the grass screen off. As you can tell, whoever worked on this before cross-threaded the, uh, the little furl that pushes up into the flywheel fan and the screw didn't come out. It just pulled the furl out, so it's gonna, probably going to have to have a screw and possibly a fan if I can't fix that. But the next step is going to be basically now we're going to remove all of the screws that hold the blower shroud on that way we can move it towards the rear Helps to have a little wobble socket. Now we're able to slide the blower shroud back enough to expose the ignition module here. And what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect it. And then we're going to retest it to see if we still have or don't have spark. Just make sure that your fan's not rubbing the shroud when you turn the motor over. So let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to diagnose this as a bad ignition module. And they do go bad on Kohler's and Briggs and just about any manufacturer. I've had to replace them before many times. One of the contributing factors of this coil going bad is heat. And now what I want to show you is this number one cylinder is completely blocked. I can't see any fins. I don't see, it's not oily, it's just dirt. And here around the East Texas area, we mow a lot of sand and dirt. And uh, the number two cylinder is not that bad, as you can tell. But that'll all have to be cleaned up real good. Uh, what happens is it creates, it's like throwing a blanket over the cylinder head. And it can't dissipate the heat and it just knocks the coils out. So what I did to make sure the cylinder is in good, uh, you know, health, no blown head gaskets or no burn valves from it being too hot, I went ahead and did a leak down test. And I want to quickly show you how to perform that test. Get your leak down tester and just back it all the way off and we're going to hook it up to shop air. And what you want to do is you want to turn the regulator in T 
until this gauge reach, reaches the set or zero. I just would like to just set it on zero. We're not too much worried about this gauge over here. So just at zero and then pop it in place, keep it from moving. Next, we want to put the test hose and screw it down into the cylinder where the spark plug goes and just hook it up. Go ahead and plug the hose into your gauge and it immediately goes to 100% leakage. So if I could zoom you in here, and what I'm going to do I'm going to take a, uh, a wrench on the crankshaft and literally turn the engine over. To top dead center. And as you can tell, with the piston at top dead center, we're at near zero leakage. And when you get done, just Back your gauge off. You don't want to leave pressure on your regulator. Alrighty guys, so we got the Cub Cadet over here. We got it diagnosed. We know it needs a coil and it needs to definitely needs to be cleaned. The engine is just completely stopped up on that one side. So we'll get it power washed off real good and get the parts in. And I guess I'm gonna make this a two-part video. So when the parts come in, I'll get the coil swapped out and we'll get it running good and deliver it back to the customer. If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Uh, when that subscribe button pops up, there will be a little bell and just click on that little bell and you'll get all my new videos. So anyway, y'all have a good day. More Medic One.